What's up gamers? Welcome back to another Top 3 Tuesday. I'm your host, Russ Lyman. And this week we're going to be talking about swords. Swords and video games. Or something close to a sword. I guess a saber works as well. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. But we're going to be counting down my Top 3 Gaming Swords. Well, the first sword on my list comes from a famous RPG video game, and it's certainly tons of swords in those, but the first one that comes to mind is... Number 3! The Buster Sword from Final Fantasy. The Buster Sword is Cloud's sword, first appearing in Final Fantasy VII, and since then in several other games. This is an enormous sword, and is considered a broadsword. It is around five to six feet long with a single edge blade that's around a foot wide. The amount of strength that would be needed to wield this sword in real life would be insane and not practical at all. It was actually crafted on the show Man at Arms, All Me YouTube channel into a real sword, which was quite impressive in the detail that they put into making it and showing it off. It stays as an iconic sword to the franchise and Cloud himself. Cloud was even added as a DLC character for Super Smash Bros. And you better believe he brought his sword along with him. He could definitely do some damage to Mario and the gang with this one. Funny enough, if you play as Kirby and absorb Cloud, Kirby gets the Buster Sword of his own to play with. Now I never played much of Final Fantasy series growing up, but I definitely watched my buddy Sal play it at his house. And I definitely remember the Buster Sword and forever will. Well, other than RPG games, another game that stands out in my mind when I think of sword is... Number 2! The Dragon Sword from Ninja Gaiden. The Ninja Gaiden series on NES and beyond is definitely a series to remember. What's not to love? Ninjas, platforming, and action. And what's a ninja's favorite weapon? His sword. And Ryu's is called the Dragon Sword. Ninjas have always been awesome, and they definitely capitalized on this with movies, TV shows, and of course, video games. I love seeing all the ninja gear in magazines growing up. I had a poster from Nintendo Power that, on the back of it, it had all those weapons that ninjas used. The franchise went on after the NES, coming out on the Xbox 360 and PS3. But there was also a title on the Nintendo DS handheld system called Dragon Sword. I never actually played this one, but you actually hold your DS system vertically and use the stylus to control a lot of the movement. Does it make you feel like you have a dragon sword in the palm of your hand? Eh, I don't think so. I certainly enjoy the regular side-scrolling ninja guiding and the easy button mashing with your sword. Nothing beats it for sure. I hadn't had that much fun hacking baddies with a sword until the recent indie release of The Messenger on the Nintendo Switch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Got this. Yeah! <laughs> oh! We did it! High fives! Actually, Alex Kaz on Twitter said, The sword from The Messenger is great and has some unique abilities as well. Well, before we get to my number one sword, let's check out on the social media what you guys had to say was your favorite gaming sword. Gamers Reckoning said, Rebellion from Devil May Cry. Topspot123 chimed in, Technically, a saber is a sword from Beat Saber. TechWizX shooting out a picture of him and Link at the Nintendo store in New York, so I'm guessing he's thinking the Master Sword. Jesse said, It's a tie between Dante's Sparta from Devil May Cry Juby's Razin from Unimasha, and Frog's Masamoon from Chrono Trigger. That one definitely almost made my list. It was close, but another one trumped it. Eric said, easily, Ivy's Snake Sword from Soul Calibur. Nintendo Paul says, between the OG LOZ NES Sword and Zero's Z Sword. Christopher chimed in, said the Red Queen for sure. He actually has a replica of it. K 
Kevin from Happy Beer Game says, not actually my favorite, but I don't want anyone to forget the Soul Reaver sword from Legacy of Kane games. For swords only from video game sources, I would pick the Ocarina of Time design of Link's Master Sword or Squall's Gunblade from Final Fantasy VIII. Sean said the Energy Sword from Halo. That thing's a beauty. Ryan also chimed in with Frog's Massamoon from Chrono Trigger. Any sword that can slice a mountain in two deserves a mention. All right, guys, thanks so much for chiming in with those answers. Be sure you guys are following me on social media so you don't miss out on any polls or questions that I answer. Now taking us to number one, my most favorite sword in video games is... Number one! The Wooden Sword from Legend of Zelda. Now I know a lot of you guys thinking I was gonna say the Master Sword, and I'm sure tons of people will say that is the best sword, but hear me out why I think it's this one. Okay, yes, I did say the Wooden Sword and not the Master Sword. Of course, everyone's gonna say the Master Sword. You see it everywhere with Link in Zelda games, but I wanna dive a bit deeper on why I didn't say this as my number one. First off, Link starts the game in the first Zelda and NES with nothing, no weapons. Link is drawn to this cave and meets a shop man where he tells you, it's dangerous to go alone, take this. Link grabs the wooden sword and heads out on his adventure, no questions asked. This really ties into growing up as a kid in the 80s. I would play outside a lot by myself or with the neighborhood kids, and we always didn't have fancy swords to play with. Yeah, sure, we got ninja swords at the parade sometimes, but if we didn't have that, you know what we used? A stick! A freaking stick off a tree! Or yes, maybe an old wooden board. But that's our sword, and that's what Link had on his adventure. It's not till way into the journey that Link even finds a better sword. He may do with what he had, and that's why I think the wooden sword is right up there with the master sword as an iconic sword. And it's not to be forgotten. Well, there you go, guys. The wooden sword from Legend of Zelda. Pretty iconic, I think. Well, make sure to leave your comments down below on what your favorite gaming sword is. I'm surprised no one said a lightsaber. Like we said, Beat Saber counted, so I guess a lightsaber would count as well. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. And make sure to slash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. And as always, gamers, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video.